So everyone, we recently figured out uh, that you can actually go a little bit higher with the ice head if you just tap it for like one frame. And if you tap it for like one frame, you get a little bit higher than usual. Now, this is fairly precise as you can see because obviously tapping it for just one frame is not very simple. Now running is on 120 FPS because I think if you get more FPS you also go a tiny bit higher, though that's really just conjecture at this point. In case it does work similarly to uh, the uh, boosting, then that would be the case. There we go. And this allows us to save a few more A presses. In fact, it allows us to do this entire riff without an A press. Now, I might be doing some speed ups at some of these, but I'm getting a fairly precise at it. If I ever take too long, of course, I will speed up the video a little bit. Some speedrun strats right here, because why not? And from here now, it's fairly uh, straightforward. Now, th the graphics might look a bit worse than they usually do. That's just because I want to get just a tiny bit more FPS in there. And make sure the... Uh, I'm, I, I want it to be stable at higher FPS. Uh, so I just reduce the graphics because obviously the graphics don't really matter too much for a run like this. Now just tapping it, like I said, just tapping it for a frame is obviously not very simple, especially because it's on this button down here, and this is a button that you need to press in a little bit for it to get to work. If it was a button like the Y button, for example, I think it would be very e a lot easier to press it for just one frame, but that's just me. I'm not certain on that. Now I know you can jump over to this side, which is what I did in the last video, but if I fail this, which is very likely because this jump to that side over there is fairly precise, I'll have to do this jump again, so might as well just do it this one. And like I said, I've gotten fairly good at it now. Now we just have to get the timepiece, which is non-trivial. You can actually very easily miss this timepiece. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Good. And that's the bizarre time rift in zero A presses. I, I kind of figured it would work after I found that out doing the uh, doing Debert Studio. Like after Debert Studio, where I was set even in the video, like, hey, I just figured out if you just tap the button for like one frame, you go higher. Um, after that, I assumed it might have been possible to do it in the rifts, but I didn't have time at that day to record it. And then someone told me in the YouTube comments that it definitely is possible. So I went in and checked it out, and yeah, it definitely is possible. So yeah, that was that. Next up, we have the other rift.